Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very, very much. Today I have my Macy's Beauty Bag for July as well as my Ricky's Cult Crushes. They sent it to the right address this month, which is great because Glossy Box never sent any of my packages to the right address and Ipsy, even though I changed my address after they billed me for July, sent my July bag to my August address. That's the problem with having jobs in different states. So we're going to start with Ricky's Cult Crushes because um, I haven't seen a lot with it. This is what it looks like when you open it. You do get a little sheet that tells you what all is in there, but it doesn't include prices, which is kind of frustrating. This is my third um, Ricky's Cult Crushes. I didn't get my one last month because they sent it to the wrong address. Um, so I will be getting that in August sometime. And so I'll probably just like put an Instagram photo up of what I got. I'm not really sure if I want to keep this subscription or not because before I signed up, they were sending out really cool different things. And it doesn't feel as like, it felt like once the wait list opened up, it isn't as good. So we'll see though. The first thing I see in here are travel makeup wipes from Ricky's it's called Ricky Care Backstage. So these are good. You can I can always use makeup remover wipes, especially for um, travel. Like, but it's not really that special or that expensive. The next thing is from LA Splash. It is a wickedly wickedly divine liquid lipstick, and it says it is in Death Dealer. Is the color? That's a little um, interesting. This is what it looks like. The packaging is really cool. It has like a little jewel there. Um, it does look like a rather intense color. I think I'm probably going to pass this on. I think I might know a couple people who would like this, so I'm not going to swatch it because I would rather give it to them um, without coming in contact with my body. Um, so, oh, eh. I don't know. We'll see. The next thing in here is the Lash Serum, Volumizing Lash Serum from Bath Those Lashes by Smack Beauty. Um, so this is like the Grande Lash, I guess. These things make me nervous because there were some problems with like the Latisse and stuff, different side effects. Um, so I don't know, does that make you nervous? Do you think that that could be a possible side effect now that it's like just in stores like you can buy it in a beauty store instead of by prescription what are your thoughts um, next is from LA splash it is a vanishing potion at number 33 waterproof makeup remover okay it is a very tiny bottle like usually you think of um, these type of things this is in coconut concoct con concoction yes um, it does not smell like coconut, so that's um, okay. I don't think it's actually colored. I think that's actually the bottle itself. I feel like this should be a bigger size though for makeup remover because this is this is more travel size. Like I could see taking this on like a week vacation and running out of it, but we'll see. This, I think part of the reason why I'm a little more harsh on this box is because it was $11 a month and then last month in June, they raised it to $14 a month. And um, that's just, it didn't set well with a lot of people, myself included. Um, so I kind of have higher expectations now that it is more expensive because Macy's, when I unbox it, it was 15. So you'll see what they're competing against. The last thing in here is a Glamazon Beauty Cosmetics. It is a blushing beauty in the shade candy girl number five and this is what it looks like and that is some intense blush um i we're gonna swatch it and see yeah pretty i wonder i'm gonna try to blend it out i guess like you can blend it out um, if you just do, it is a little rough though. Um, that is what it looks like if you just put it on. This might actually make a really cool like eyeshadow because it is so, so bright. Um, 
but that is my Ricky's for July. I think my favorite thing is probably actually the blush because um, it is different, um, but something that I still feel like I would wear. I'm not so sure about the liquid lipstick if that's a color that I would wear. This is a different color for me than I normally go for, but this is um, something I got recently from Too Faced and I, this is a fun way to actually wear it because I can't wear this to work because, you know, I either am working with kids who you need to look like, there's a strict dress code for that, um, or I'm teaching college students and, you know, respect is kind of a thing if you show up with like crazy makeup they put it on your evaluations and they don't really pay attention to you um from experience not like i do this but from experience of not even crazy stuff next is my macy's beauty box sorry for the rambling this is 15 dollars a month it does come usually at the beginning of the month it's usually the first one that i get and then i try to do unboxings together so i usually end up waiting to unbox it it does also come with a little guide. This month it came with a $10 off coupon. Usually you get a $5. Every once in a while they send 10. So in July they sent a $10, which was perfect because I have several things that I want to get. And with it you can also um, use it. If you use it online first, you can also use it in store because the barcode is different. So you can technically get $10 off two orders. This nuts bag is really nice. It is lined. They're usually really nice bags. This one feels just a little heftier than usual though. And then they always have everything wrapped up in pretty pink tissue paper. Um, basically the same shade as that blush I just swatched. This one does give prices, so I will give prices as we go. First thing I see in here is a big cardboard piece and it is the Privage Anti-Aging Daily Serum from Elizabeth Arden. We're gonna pull open this and see how much this is. Um, this retails for $162, so that's a lot of money. Um, this is not $162 worth of the product, obviously, but it is a pretty good, um, it's a um, five milliliter sample, so I will definitely use that and enjoy it because I will not be purchasing a full size because that's really expensive. Next is from Benefit. It is the Porefessional Pore Minimizer or Pore Primer. Um, I have several of these. I probably am going to actually pass this on because I have several of them. Um, this retails for $31 for the full size. It's a really nice primer. It's a silicone primer. So if you don't like that, you probably won't like it. But I really do enjoy it as a primer and use it. Um, I've been going through a lot of different primers though, but I really do like it as a primer. Then from Giorgio Romana Armani, it is the C Passione. And I have a full size bottle of this because I got sent the full size of it from Influencer. And it's the full size is $120 for 3.4 ounces. I will be passing on this sample to a friend because I would love to share it with them and I think it's a great scent. Like, um, yes, they sent it to me, but I do think it's a really nice scent. I was thinking about getting it beforehand actually, so I was really excited that they sent it to me. The one criticism I had with it is it doesn't, it isn't long lasting, so um, it does not stay till the end of the day, um, unlike some other ones. Next is a really big um, sample. It is from Rituals. It is the Ritual of Mom Purifying Ceremony for Body and Soul. It has eucalyptus and rosemary. And it has kind of a strong scent to it. I can't really tell what the strong scent is, but this is a foaming um, shower gel. I really like these. I've gotten several of these. I have the orange blossom one, I think, is the one that I've used mostly. I really do like that. That retails for $15 for a full size. Next from Lancome, this is the Bifacial. It's an eye makeup remover. The retail on this is, this is a 50 milliliter. Um, I think this is the travel size, which is $15, but a 13.5 ounce one is $62, so it is pretty expensive. I have not tried this. I have several bottles of this at home, but I just don't use a lot of 
eye makeup remover usually. I usually use my wipes or like a balm for everything. Or um, So I need to start using my eye makeup removers. Then finally in here is from Clarins. This retails for $64 for a full size. It is the Huli Tonic. Um, oh, a tonic body treatment oil. So it is a body oil. I assume that you use it after you get out of the shower. Apply to the body working from the ankles up to the thigh and the hands towards the shoulders. So you go from the outside in, I guess, which is kind of like the, um, how they do, um, dry brushing where you work down and up. So you're trying to get towards the heart. Um, so there is that. Let's see if it smells. I don't want it to leak everywhere. It does have a scent to it. It's kind of strong, but it's, it's kind of an herbally lemon scent. I don't think it's terrible, but it's not like something that I would normally choose to get. But that is this month's Macy's. I think my favorite product from this month is probably the Provage Serum because I really like facial serums or the body uh, foaming shower gel because I know I like this brand usually. Let me know if you get either of these boxes, what you got, if you got the same thing, if you got something different, what your favorite items were, what you thought of the value of these two. Actually, if I'm honest, the $10 coupon was probably what I liked the most out of Macy's this month. Um, so let me know your thoughts on these. I hope you are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.